Okay, welcome everyone to tonight's team Zoom. My husband literally just walked in right when I jumped on. <laughs> um, I'm excited for tonight because we have a few things going on. I do want to actually have Venetia speak really quick before, actually maybe let's have you do it towards the end because maybe we'll get some more people to jump on. Um, so we're gonna start today, I'll kind of just tell you what's going on. First, we're gonna hear a testimonial from Tiffany. I'm really excited to hear it. Then we're going to hear a product um, overview from Heidi. She's going to talk about the ease, you said? Yeah. Yep. And then we're going to hear some training from Kate, and she's going to talk about telling our story. Right? <laughs> and then we're going to have a health tip from somebody, and we'll see who that. And then we're going to have Venetia end it out and tell us about some things that I think you guys would love to hear about. And then I'll just end it real quick, okay? So we'll start it off with Tiffany. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to tell you guys. All I know is I've been using this for almost a year. And the products that I use consistently are BioCleanse, the probiotics, Ease. Um, I've tried pretty much everything. I've even done this 60 day, um, but I do like Slim and I can't function without it, pretty much. Um, I, what I've noticed in the last uh, eight months is, in the beginning, uh, my sugar cravings disappeared, and it took about two months. And then when my sugar cravings disappeared, suddenly I craved other things, like plants. And so then I, uh, turned to plant-based eating in December and I've dropped about 45 pounds and my joints don't hurt, my Hashimoto's is in check, my um, fibromyalgia is gone. Uh, I, every once in a while I have little, <laughs> right? <laughs> I have episodes with too much maybe sugar intake uh, maybe driving for 15 hours and not taking a break, but, um, the slim, I can tell on the days I don't drink it. I love the active. I am constantly, um, getting my mom to be involved and my sister, but they don't like the business aspect of it, but the products are amazing. They're amazing. So. Any questions? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Oh my gosh, I didn't. I don't think I knew you lost forty-five pounds. I know it's crazy. You didn't even tell me. I know it's pretty wild, and it's still. I'm still losing it because I go to the gym every day now, and it's just different. Different. Oh my gosh, you go to the gym every day. Oh, it's so cool. I do. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for Tiffany? Uh, so I got in here late. I'm sorry, I was having trouble logging in from the hotel, but. Tiffany, I just heard the, the back end of your story, like fibromyalgia and Hashimoto's in check. Yes, and I have PCOS. So all of those things have just gotten into control and depression, oh. everything, so. My gosh, you're like a poster child for Plexus. <laughs> right. It's just That's been amazing. Incredible. I think the stuff I like right now, I've added the accelerator again I tried it before but I've added it again now that I'm working out it's much more beneficial with the exercise so yeah holy cow more people need to hear your story girl you need to be shouting that out that is incredible I have a specific goal on the 27th of July I'll be at a certain level and then three months after that I'll probably be where I need to be and the difference that I've noticed with me and other friends who have tried to find their way back from a pretty sad, depressive state mm -hmm. is it takes them three years. This has taken me, by the time I reach my goal, it will have taken me a year and three months. Wow. So, the difference. Gosh, what a godsend. That's so many blessings right there. Yes, it is. And wow. my kids are grateful. My kids are grateful because I try to keep up with a four-year-old and... I think she's busier than any four-year-old on the planet. <laughs> that's probably not true, but she feels that way. And now it's, you know, 
she wants to swim four hours a day and I can actually do that. So it's been nice. That's incredible. Don't you love the ripple effects? Like how it's not just a blessing for you, but like your whole family benefits. Yes. When mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Right. It's true. Everybody <laughs> gets crazy. It's true. That's incredible. Wow. So it's well, been nice. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you coming on here. I thank you. Really grateful. Okay, so we're going to now hear from Heidi, right? Okay, I'm going to talk about Ease real quick. Just going to give you guys a little bit of information about it, okay? So Ease is one of my favorite products. I didn't really take advantage of the blessings of Ease for the first little bit. But everyone needs Ease, and this is why, okay? Um, ease is an anti-inflammatory. We all have inflammation. Um, life is stressful, so it really doesn't matter if you're active or not. Um, basically, anyways, our body is overly inflamed, so it makes it harder to heal. It makes it harder to sleep um, and lose weight. And so, um, Ease has four main active ingredients that I just want to go over really quickly. And I'm someone who's always learning. I don't really consider myself an ingredient person. So I'm just kind of like, hey, it helps me a lot. You should try it. But <laughs> this gave me a good opportunity to just learn some of the products and why it's helping me. So it contains New Zealand green lipped muscle, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory that also provides benefits for the cardiovascular system, your skin and hair, your immune system, and wound healing. Um, and I had heard this story before. I thought this was really cool. There's actually the Maori people who settled in New Zealand around 1300 BC. I am a history buff, so I do love this kind of stuff. Anyways, this whole group of people, they never suffered from arthritis or other aches and pains. And a large part of their diet was made up of the green lip muscle, which is in the East. It's kind of cool. So if you have a shellfish allergy, you know, obviously you can't take this. So um, the second ingredient is turmeric, which we've all heard turmeric, it's a hot ingredient. Um, that is known for its powerful anti-inflammatory and anti-antioxidants. Okay. Anyway, so that helps your heart and your brain health. And it's also been known to help with depression, turmeric. So it has really good pain relief um, benefits as well. So the other ingredient is bromelain. And bromelain is a protein digesting enzyme which has been used to treat a wide range of health problems range, ranging from um, ACL tears, which I, I'm gonna talk about that specifically. My husband has had shoulder issues and taking ease has completely helped him for that. He had actually the shoulder surgery and was still in pain and ease um, over time is what has helped him not have that pain and be able to go do full range of workout and not have that pain anymore. Um, and so bromelain is a big part of that in here. It helps with jo joint and bone pain, asthma, autoimmune diseases, IBS. Um, it helps relax tense muscles and tissues. Okay. Then the fourth ingredient is serapeptase. Okay. It's also used as a uh, replacement for NSAIDs and it's often used to treat traumatic injuries like sprains. Okay. So it can help with things, scarring after injuries, scarring after surgery, um, blood clots, um, allergies, all sorts of um, things, okay? So it's such a really good enzyme that helps inflammation in all its different forms. And so, um, so those are the four main ingredients that I just wanted to showcase and ease. Like I said, I'm learning myself. I take three of these every night just for my maintenance. But if you were going to take a loading dose of ease, which my husband is doing right now, still, he takes six. So he takes three in the morning and three at night. So that's ease. Does anyone have any questions? So it's just um, product spotlight. I'm just a little blown away because I knew it had so many benefits, but I've never heard like wound healing and scar healing. Yeah. Well, your husband had a shoulder like... Yeah, he prevented well, scar surgery. Tissue. Yeah, I knew. I guess I knew that scar tissue yeah. that helped with that. So, but yeah. I never really thought about it, like wounds and scars. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 
And you know what? I think ease is also a really good thing to start with people. If they're brand new, starting with a triplex, even if they don't have any pain issues, it's really, really great for like getting people through die off because it helps getting that excess inflammation out of your body from the very beginning. And so mm -hmm. when people are starting and they're like, I just want to start out, ease is a great one to add. I always feel like it, we always do the triplex and X factor plus, but I feel like ease should be added in there just as much for just the average person. Cause there's so many health benefits in getting inflammation out of your body. It's so much prevention. Like if everyone just knew about getting inflammation out of their body and how much mm -hmm. that would help them down the road, what five, 10 years down the road. So mm -hmm. I agree. Yep. And don't ever run out like Tracy did. It's not good. It's not good <laughs> to run out. <laughs> just as so. a complete side note for ease. Um, I was almost literally crippled, um, from pain from fibromyalgia and within my first week of loading dose of ease, I have zero pain from fibromyalgia and that's with that and triplex, I have my life back. So ease is like raise the It rate. only took a week, Don, on a loading dose for you? Within a week. That's crazy. I mean, that could just be me. Because oh, everybody says like, don't expect quick results, but like seriously, within a week, it just amazing. I, I can't even tell you it's better than having a cupcake when you really want a sugar fix. <laughs> <laughs> Your body was yeah. wanting those ingredients. That's for sure. Yeah. I just, and I just, I was so much pain. I had so much inflammation. I, it was terrible. I, I can't even describe how horrible my life used to be. And ease, ease is, is definitely one of the things that just really pushed me back into living again like living the way I want to be, not just getting through the day. What a blessing. So fibromyalgia peeps just totally get them on ease to start. It's pain it is one of the biggest factors. So fibro ease, it's amazing. Well, thank you. It was thank meant to here tonight. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> so now we're gonna actually kind of shift and we're gonna have Katie or Kate speak to us. And she's going to talk about sharing her story. So I think it's perfect. It's like perfect. Yeah, and this is probably something that I, I needed more than anything because I've sort of shared my story um, just with people that I'm talking to. And it seems like every time I share it, it changes, I have different versions of it. Um, but um, anyway, so let's just get into it. So you may have heard the phrase facts tell and story sell. So when we share our story, um, our struggles and triumphs, we give people a glimpse into our lives and we give people a chance to feel what we felt and experience what we experienced and maybe relate to us and connect with us. And as humans, we really need connection. We wanna know that there's someone out there who struggled like we have. We wanna know that there's hope to overcome those struggles. So how do we share our story? Well, we just share it from our heart. We just share honestly and truthfully. I mean, it's our story. It's your story. It's your truth. So there's no wrong way to share it. So um, sometimes we can be scared to share our stories, but really um, you just have to get over it and just do it because people have to hear it. People have to hear your stories because they're looking for answers. So um, you may have a financial story, you may have a health story, you may have both, and you can just share them all because we really want to offer hope in, in whatever areas that we can and, and inspire someone to make a change and um, just let them step in your shoes for a minute and, and try to relate to you. Um, so a story has three parts. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So whenever you... Um, share a story or write a post, you wanna think about the beginning, the middle, and the end. But a lot of times when we share a story, we like to sort of set the stage, which can be boring, honestly. And if you're posting this on social media, um, I actually listened to one of the Motivation Mondays this month, I think it was two weeks ago, it was Amber Miller. And so she was talking about social media posting, but it applies, it can apply to your Plexus story as well. Um, you want to have a hook to draw people in. So 
when you post on social media, usually when people are scrolling through, they're, they're going to notice a photo. So maybe Janelle can teach us about photos another time. But um, you want to have a catching, you know, really pretty nice photo if you can. And then you only see like one sentence um, of the post. And in order for people to stop scrolling and click see more, you have to have something that draws them in, something to make them want to read the rest of the post. So Amber suggested a few things. She called it a juicy little secret. Like um, you could say, I never told anyone this before, or I just discovered something about myself that shocked me, or I never thought I would admit to whatever. So something that sort of makes people stop and draws them in. Um, and then um, you could say something like, um, I left the doctor's office sobbing. And if I read that, I would wonder, was it tears of joy? Was it tears of sorrow? <laughs> What's going on with this person? I want to keep reading. Or something like, when my little boy waved at me from the window, I broke down in tears. Or I couldn't believe it. Never in my life have I done something so crazy. Everyone was watching me and I was having so much fun. And that makes me think of, well, what crazy thing were they doing? Were they singing karaoke? Were they riding a roller coaster that they'd never done before? Um, so just think of things that, um, I mean, if you can write out your story and just pick a line or something that brings people in, and that's what you want to catch them with right at the beginning. And then you can go into the part, the middle part is about the problem or the struggle or the situation that you overcame. And you don't want to just um, tell facts about it, like I gained 15 pounds and then say how you um, resolved it. You want to talk about your struggles. Um, you want to put some emotion and feeling into it because that's what people relate to. That's what sort of tugs on their heartstrings. So talk about um, maybe your struggles of not feeling confident or feeling worried or you weren't sure what was happening. You just all of a sudden felt so bad and you were discouraged that you couldn't find answers and wondering why you were feeling that way. So kind of go into the emotions of the situation. Or if it's a financial um, story, you can talk about your feelings maybe as you stood in the grocery line and you had to tell the checker to put stuff back. Were you humiliated? Were you sad? Were you um, felt, felt bad for your child because they couldn't have their favorite cereal and they were asking, mommy, why can't I have my cereal? Um, I remember this was before Plexus, but I was three months behind on my mortgage during the recession and I watched through my window this guy pull up in front of my house and get out and start taking pictures and I didn't know who he was or what he was doing. Uh, come to find out he would come back like every week, every other week and take pictures and he was a bank in inspector. So not only did they, was I behind on my mortgage and couldn't pay it but they were sending out a bank, bank inspector and I had to pay another $25 every time he came. So that was an awful struggle. Um, and I think it's something that people can relate to. So then you want, at the end of your story, you want to tell how you overcame the struggle. And again, you want to tell how you felt when you overcame it. So what were your results and what um, you want your audience to feel hope that if they do what you did or tried what you tried, that they can overcome that same struggle. So did you get your confidence back or how did it feel to go shopping and buy a smaller size? Were you happy? Were you ecstatic? Um, were you able to keep up with your kids on the playground? And how did it feel to hear them laugh while you chased them? Cause you all of a sudden had all this energy that you never had before. So put in some feelings and emotion. Um, because that's what speaks to people. And that's also what will help them trust you because you're being real and vulnerable and honest. Um, and then also at the end, you want to ask them to connect with you in some way. It's called a call to action. And you can say something like, if you relate to my story, please DM me so we can chat. Or I'd love to help you feel better. Give me a call. Or you can say, ask me for a sample so you can see what I'm talking about. So something that invites them to connect with you um, through, a, through a message. Um, and then one thing, I don't know if you guys, have you ever watched the, uh, the movie called A River Runs Through It? Um, I don't know, it's an old movie with um, 
Brad Pitt, but in the movie, the boy, um, the fa there's a father and he's a preacher. And while he's writing his sermon, he has a, little, a boy that he's teaching to read and write. And so the boy has to write like an essay and he gives it to his father and his father like marks up the page and crosses things out and hands it back and says, again, half as long. And then the boy takes the paper and starts over and writes another essay or writes it again and gives it to his father and the father marks it up and crosses things out and says, again, half as long. And so he takes it back a third time and revises it. And then after the third time, um, it's approved and he's okay. And that's kind of what I feel sometimes when I see Facebook posts that are just going on forever and ever. <laughs> I mean, I know it's your story and it's important, but I feel like people's attention spans are so short that I, a lot of times I just like skim it or scroll through or something. Um, and our, our stories are really personal to us, so we can get wrapped up in them, but we have to remember that there's just, we only have so much time to draw somebody in and keep their uh, attention. And if it's not intriguing or personal, then they're probably not going to read at all. So um, what a good idea to do would be just to um, break your story up, like into a series of posts, instead of doing you know, one long post, what if you broke it up into three posts and did it over a series of days? And then you can just share pieces of your story. And at the end of each day, you can say, tomorrow I'll share with you how I did this or that. Um, and then they're going to be coming back. It's kind of like when we used to watch TV before Netflix and the TV show would have like a cliffhanger at the end and you had to wait all week to find out what happened after the car crash. And then you were just thinking about it, waiting and waiting, and it built up anticipation. So you can use that same idea with your, with your stories. Um, and the other thing is you don't have to share the same story. You can um, share a shorter version of it. Um, and I suggest maybe sharing your story like every month or so, especially if you're getting new followers, if you're making new friends. Even if you have had people on there for a year, maybe they've missed your story because they weren't on Facebook at the time you posted it or they didn't see it. So it's okay to share your story or versions of your story um, over and over and over. Okay, so the last part though that we have to be careful of just being, if we mention Plexus, is compliance. And so it's not very fun, but it has to be done to keep everybody um, safe and make our company look good. So um, if we're sharing a Plexus story or mentioning the Plexus health and, and financial benefits, there's some red flag words that we can't use. Um, there's claims that we can't make and Plexus has actually given us tools to help us with that. So, um, and you can actually you know, write out your story and send it to my story at plexusworldwide.com and you can ask them if they can just check over it and make sure it's compliant. Um, in the back office, there's tools to help you. So um, if you go to the training center in your back office and then click on resource library, then there's a box that says sharing system. So you click on start sharing and then you have to scroll down a little bit and it says step two, share, sharing your story. And there's probably um, six or eight maybe different options you can choose. There's a video from Genevieve Scory telling how to, you know, giving ideas of telling your story. There's a fact sheet. Um, there's another PDF called tell your story that goes along with the video. And it has all of the claims you can make. It has all of the disclaimers because we have a lot of disclaimers that you have to put in your post also. It has hashtags you can use. It has the products claims that you can make depending on which product you're talking about. There are things that you can't say. So check out those um, tools in your back office. There's also one called red flag words and I didn't see that in the back office, but we did get an email recently because the FDC is really uh, cracking, or FDA is really cracking down on um, health and wellness since the coronavirus. So, um, 
so that's about it. Um, writing out your story might be easy for you. It might be hard. It might take you several drafts, just like that boy in a river runs through it. But, um, and it could be a work in progress. You can, you know, I'll, like I said, share different versions of it as you, um, as you progress and your story may change too. So that is what I have on stories. One of the things that I thought about when you were, when you're speaking is like one of the things that you pointed out is that we want to be relatable. And when you think about that, you're most relatable at the beginning of your journey than you are after like, who's relatable to me? I'm working out six days a week. I've lost 40 pounds. Like, yeah, it's what they want, but I'm not as relatable because they want to get that. And they're like, how could I even possibly get that? And that's how a lot of people are at. They're like, how I've been trying so many years trying to get that and they just can't get there. And so they're hopeful, but we're more relatable at the beginning of our journey, which is why we want to share every aspect of our journey. Even if we're not quite to that point, of what we think is like our perfect self or whatever, you know, because I still feel like four years, I'm still healing over things. Does anyone else feel like that? Yeah, I know I am. And I feel like I, sometimes I, I'm making progress and then I fall back and then I have to make progress again. So, I mean, it's your health. It's like brushing your teeth every day. You've just got to keep um, vigilant <laughs> with taking your products and and eating right and, and it, supplements only go as far as your nutrition and exercise go to it's it all it goes hand in hand does anybody else have anything else to share Whitney anything well the my favorite part that stuck out Kate that I super appreciate because I this made it a big impact on me is just um you know starting out with an attention grabber like that's going to make them want to click see more because I never really thought of that but that's so true like when I think about it you know when I'm scrolling um that I never realized how important that is but that's a really good point and um you gave some great examples that I think we can all work with kind of make our own so that yeah. was really good I appreciate that that was great training yeah, and I think if you watch that Motivation Monday with Amber Miller, it was really, really good. So mm -hmm. she had some really great ideas. Well, and also just the concept of, like, we need to share our stories regularly because, you know, I've been around for five and a half years. I feel like everyone knows my story, but that's so not true. And that's true that we should share bits and pieces all the time because you never know what someone's going to relate to that maybe even you shared it three months ago but they didn't see that post you know what I mean so good points all right well speaking of posts Venetia I want to I either I want her to share a little bit about what's been working for a lot of people we kind of talked about it last week but I know we have some new people on here so um Venetia um can you hear me Yes. Uh, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to just piggyback off of what you said about how we're relatable at the beginning of our journey. So um, it's super important to, um, to, to share right away. I know it gets people out of their comfort zone, but people, your audience wants to see you and they want to see every step of the way of what you're doing from start to, well, you know, there's really no end um, if you're going to keep going. Um, but so you want to start sharing right away. And um, the post that's been really working for a lot of people is it says, I need six of my friends to try my pink drink for 60 days and tell me how many pounds you shed. This deal is cheaper than I can buy it. And it comes with two additional products. Who is in? And like, I, I posted that last week and I already have six people on my team. I'm going to keep going obviously, but like there was 33 comments on that post for me and I've never had a Plexus post strike so much conversation before because it's quick and it's easy and it's to the point. And I think to Kate and what she just, what she just trained us on is it's just an attention grabber. People are all about wanting to lose weight because people have been gaining weight lately with being at home and people also want, they, they want deals. And so it's a, it's a quick one-liner attention grabber and people are like all over it. So if you're new and you're still relatable and you're sharing this month, if you share and use your referral link and share with three friends, you get $305 extra dollars this month on top of, um, 
or 305, that's including the regular incentives and the, the incentive, the supplemental incentive that they're using. And with six people, it goes to 660. Um, if you've been around for a while, it's a little bit less than that, but it's still really amazing. 350 extra dollars um, with for six people. It's, it's no, uh, um, nothing to laugh at or anything. It's just fun money and or whatever you want, put it back into your business, get extra supplements, things like that. Or pay for your bills. <laughs> pay for your bills, medical bills over here, yes. <laughs> so whatever you want it to be used for, it's just an extra income. And a lot of people are really looking forward to that. So it, that could be part of your story as well. You'll have the health, the finances, everything. So you just want to incorporate it all in. Yeah, I did that post too, and I got five, five people. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of people on here that did that post too. It was awesome. Whitney, you did it too, right? Yeah. I, there's still people on there that I haven't followed up with. And I did it last week. Yeah. I have people who, have, yeah. who, who I still need to follow up with. But one thing I would like to say is Gigi posted something in the group today that's really, really um, important, I think, is mm -hmm. that you have to be honest if we're boosting each other's posts. Like, don't put on there, like, tell me all the details when you know all the details. Because people... We'll look at that. They might go to your page. They might see that we're all Plexus ambassadors and then they think it's fishy. So you just want to be honest with your helping people boost their posts. Like that's such a great deal. I love my pink drink. Or just, just help put a me gift with up. this. Just put huh? a gift up. Just put a yeah, gift up, you know? Yes. Yes. So yep. That's all I have. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Double uh, dog dare everyone on here to do it because if you haven't, it's amazing. <laughs> People want what we have. They really do. And it's kind of selfish to keep it to ourselves, to be honest. So. So we do not have a health tip, but I had a thought if you guys want me to share it with uh, you. Is Hannah not on here? I don't see her. Oh, Hannah. Shoot. But. Um, oh, we should have reminded her. Sorry. If you guys have been here for a while, we've kind of had a lot of health tips. And I think one of the things that we kind of. Um, haven't really addressed is like eating. <laughs> I feel like that is something that we always kind of skirt around because nobody really likes the word diet. It like is the X, like nobody likes to hear it, stops in their track. And I feel kind of the same way too. I don't like diets. I feel like they feel restrictive, but I do want to point out one thing. If we don't know and so that's why the reason why I don't like diets is because of all the things I just said, like it's restrictive. But the problem with that is if we don't know what we're putting in our body in like just one day, like on an average day, what we're putting in our body, then we could be putting in too much. And we're wondering, why are we not losing weight? Or why am I doing this? Or why is this happening? And so if you don't like dieting, I do challenge you for one day only, one day only is to track what you're eating on an average day and then just have that be your baseline. And then you don't have to diet after that and just see where you can improve. Um, just find something that you can improve, that you can add to your foods that improve it better. So instead of maybe you like have like this starchy breakfast, you're going to have a lean shake or Maybe for lunch, you after lunch, you have your little treats. And instead of having five treats, you're having two treats. You know, things like that. And just kind of see where your baseline is. And one app that I love to track with, because I think it's super universal and it's just easy, is MyFitnessPal. It's free. It's easy. You can pretty much scan every food. And that might be a little bit more farther than extent. But if you really want to see where your baseline is, because I have to tell you, guys, I'm a super active person. Um, I was lucky with Plexus that I felt like I naturally lost weight, like, cause I didn't feel like I was dieting. That's what I mean when I felt like naturally losing weight, but I got to a point where I wasn't seeing any more weight loss. And I'm like, why, 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 why is this happening? I'm doing all the things. And then finally I had a trainer who says, I want you to track your food for one day. Well, I found out I was eating way more than I ever thought I was eating. And I still was eating super healthy guys. Like, so that's the reason why I say it just kind of gets you mindful of what you're eating. I'm not telling you to be restrictive. I'm not telling you all those things. And if this makes you want to throw up by saying this, then don't do it. Like, don't do it. 
But if you're really wondering about, like, I really want to see weight loss and see where my baseline is, just track for one day. And my fitness pal is great. It's super easy. I don't even have to teach you how to do it. You could just jump on the app and it's very easy. It says breakfast, lunch, dinner. And so, um, that's something to think about. So again, not for everyone, but I think if you are wondering, that is a great way to look at that. So. Good stuff. Thanks, Janelle. I'm sorry. I, I probably should have reminded Hannah. She was excited to do it. She can do it next week. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, so does anybody have any questions? Anything? I do. Who's excited for convention? <laughs> you guys, okay. I'm not even kidding you. This new product, I am flipping out over it you guys it is so ha. so i saw you wearing a mask it means something you guys that mask means something just fyi <laughs> so i think it has to do with something with joy ohm i'm guessing maybe it's a skincare mask <laughs> nope <laughs> no <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with joy ohm either i promise oh uh, mask it's a, it's a hard clue. Think fishy. Stop, Monty, no. Fishy. <laughs> no. It's so good, though. I will tell you this. It's going to open new doors that have not been opened yet. So it's not our hemp oil that we've been waiting for? Nope, not even close. Huh. It's what a legit, that? like, brand new product. Like, I didn't, I'd never even heard that it was in the works when I got it. I was so oh. excited. Is it something? Sunscreen? Face? No, because it's not anything face joy. Um. Joy sunscreen would be joy. Um. What but is Monty question, saying? <laughs> don't listen to Monty. Have heard of before? Mm -mm. I'd never even heard of it. Okay. It's, I've never heard of anything like it, you guys. Ever. There's not anything I've ever heard of like it. In another market? Maybe another for stress, market? guys. You've always had a, have a prescription for it. What? What? Don't listen to him. Are they announcing it Friday or Saturday? Friday. Friday night, I think. Okay. I'm super excited. You should be excited. Make guys. sure your kids are watching. <laughs> um. Anyone that's not registered for convention, you can register. I think up until the day, right? Yeah. I I don't think they plan to cut it off it's to only anyone. Only twenty nine dollars. Um, you'll get actually a sample, won't you, of the product? Yeah. So I heard that what we're getting as an incentive is valued at twenty dollars, and it's only twenty nine dollars to register. Plus, you get um, free training from like some of the most expensive, like motivational speakers and That's business fun. trainers and in financial trainers, and we get a free concert from Thomas Rhett for twenty nine bucks, and then we get a twenty dollar gift. Holy cow! Right? I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah. The backpack's so cool too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shoot. Well, that's awesome. Hey. that's awesome. I'm excited, guys. Hey. Thank you for jumping on. We had so many people on tonight. Let's get Yay, to this momentum and get people more on here. And if anyone has any friends that would love to share their testimonial or you know of them that has a one that's never really shared with us before, will you please reach out to either Whitney, I, or Emily, and we would love to hear their story. So. Yes, yes, yes. Thank because you so much for Everybody's joining. gonna write their stories this week, right? So. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna have like a 10 part story. <laughs> I, I know yours has really, so many assets. Yeah, I think right? that would be really cool because you could do um different photos for each one and put a label on there like part one or day one or something and just yeah. to let people know that they need to keep coming back for more yeah I like that. Part one of ten <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny okay well you guys all have a great night thank you for jumping on and you should tell people whitney that you get you told us um about the product and They'll watch the whole video. Oh, too bad you missed it. And we're not going to share the recording. <laughs> we're saying we did. We shared the recording and she told us what it was. And it's, but don't tell them what it is. So they have to watch it the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you right now. Get ready to stop the recording, Janelle. Ready? Okay. <laughs>
I'm just kidding. Ready. Just say it. Just say it. It'll be really funny. Okay. Okay. Make sure you have a water bottle tomorrow. Your kids are watching. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Here's what to say. And, nope. say. and the product is? And the product is? 